everyone. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control, which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. Before we get to those callers, welcome everyone to Angel Healing House Radio with me, Claire Candy Hoff. I hope those who are celebrating have an absolutely joyous, safe, healthy Christmas. And to all, I'm wishing you an absolutely beautiful holiday season, bringing you your heart's desires. You know, it's often at the end of each year that we make a look back and we take a look back at the previous year and the choices and the decisions that we've made. You know, if we've made those decisions without compromising our principles and honoring and respecting ourselves, then because of the laws of cause and effect, we would have experienced a year in which life honored us. Yet if our choices saw us settling for less than we so richly deserved, then many of us would have, would have experienced some sort of results, but perhaps the results may have been less than we had anticipated. Now, my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, wishes to speak about the blessings of free will that we all have been given and our ability to make choices on our journey throughout life. And even though we have free will, this gift of either making choices or even choosing not to make a choice, we may allow external forces to influence our decision making, our being influenced and swayed as to what to do, how to act, what to eat and what to buy are especially apparent around the time of the holidays. Okay, for instance, eggnog to me, it, well, it never tastes the same before December 1st and after Christmas Day. Now in this category of not consuming things before or after certain dates, along with eggnog, I would add candy canes, plum pudding, and fruit cake. And you know, even though I know that they are still fresh and fine, my brain tells me not to have them, as those things associated with the holidays are somehow past their use-by date after Christmas. Now, this is a choice, and I admit that it's a rather strange one without any logic behind it. I guess it's just that my taste buds have been programmed to no longer desire these seasonal treats after the date of December 25th has come and gone. Now, you know, listeners, come to think of it, although not rationally, there are some other seasonal things that many others, like myself, 
consider time sensitive. Traditionally, watching Christmas movies for me only happens between the above dates. Now, I'm really not sure when this rigid mindset began, but I am starting to surmise that I am really limiting my enjoyment factor. Now, for example, I have a friend who suffers from depression, and she tells me that nothing lifts her spirits quite like watching the Jimmy Stewart movie, It's a Wonderful Life, and she watches it throughout the year. Although totally illogical, my seasonal choices have been dictated by my free will, my habit, and nothing more. It's like having a default setting on your computer that was set so that you couldn't forget it. With this programming having been a certain way, having been set a certain way at a certain time, it will only change once we make a conscious choice to go into our settings and purposely change it. And many of the traditions that we follow are nothing more than things that we have been culturally brought up to expect. And we do them with very little thought as to why we are doing it and what it actually means. You know, everyone, with New Year's Eve coming up at the end, of the month. Many of us will be staying up late, we'll be partying and celebrating at the stroke of midnight, and we will be heralding in a brand new year of 2019. And the first thing that many will be making to welcome in this new year is going to a default programming and saying the word happy in front of New Year. This is a traditional response that so many utter unconsciously without even realizing it. And for many, it's the first choice that they will make in the first seconds of a new year. This wishing of Happy New Year will be uttered over and over again in different parts of the globe and in many different languages. With this rather automatic response, the Posse of Angels is sharing with us that out of the billions of people on the planet, well, they're saying that there are comparatively few people who make the choice of expressing either at the top of their lungs, in a civil tone, or even whisper the words, unhappy new year. Now with the utterance of these words, Happy New Year, the Posse of Angels wishes to delve deeper and ask if this is in fact what one chooses to say, that what exactly are they wishing happiness for? Perhaps the Happy New Year would be to wish someone happiness in their finances with a continual, prosperous, abundant, wealthy cash flow. It could be that Happy in the front of New Year is pertaining to the happiness in relationships that are filled with love, honor, kindness, and respect. The happiness in New Year wishes, it could be directed at our health for everything in our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies to be in divine alignment to our optimal wellness and our well being. So why, why then if we choose to wish someone a happy new year, do many of us choose sometimes the next day, if not immediately afterwards, to choose something unhappy to think, something unhappy to dwell on, something unhappy to speak, or some unhappy feelings in our heart? And if our words are focused in any way, on that which is going to make us unhappy, we will just draw more of the same unhappiness to ourselves. Last year, I had a client whose husband left her for a younger woman, and she was dreading the upcoming holiday season. Although in past years, she loved the holidays, she loved 
going out and making reservations and getting dressed up and enjoyed uh, bringing in the new year. But unlike other new years, this year she would be alone for the first time in many years as she divorced her husband 10 months previously. Now the posse of angels winked at her and said, just go to the holiday party with the intention of experiencing joy and gratitude, nothing more. She then timidly said, and what do the posse of angels suggest that I do at the stroke of midnight when there is no one to kiss? They then told her to close her eyes and say a prayer of gratitude for, um, for many years that she no longer was with someone who deceived her and stole her happiness um, to make a wish for a more honoring love to enter her life. When she thought about this, she thought, and she felt so much better, she thought to herself, being grateful and appreciative is a good way to start the new year, that I don't have to kiss a husband who has been lying to me year after year. So upon making the wish, the posse of angels advised her to send a huge kiss to the universe and all the angels in advance for fulfilling her intention of being with just such an honoring, respectful love. Armed with a plan to usher in the new year and honoring intentions, my client was amazed how much freer and lighter she felt and how her worry and her anxieties began to melt away. This is because she chose to put her focus on happiness and gratitude again that she was no longer with someone who deceived her. You know, I guess the whole point of their discussion is that we do live in a deliberate universe and nothing is random. Nothing is happen chance, but the laws of cause and effect which are always working for us, never takes a holiday, <laughs> never has a weekend off. The laws of cause and effect are with us in every moment. The more that we choose with our every thought, our word, every feeling in our heart, and every, every action to have a happy new year in 2019, well, the more we will definitely reap the benefits of happiness in the coming year and also in the years to come. If you are one for making New Year's resolutions, and I know many people are, then the Posse of Angels is reminding us that our wishes are not outside of ourselves. They never have been but they are the carriers and the creators of our dreams, and they are held deep within our hearts. So they're going to help us to have a happy new year. So the first step to having that joyous new year is to choose to stay in a vibrational frequency of joy, no matter what happens in our lives. This can be accomplished by setting our own navigational course and then following our hearts in integrity and authentically as we stay true to who we are and to our dreams, not to when any, what anybody else believes uh, our dreams should be, not to anyone else who tells us what we have to do or what we ought to be doing. We are staying true to who we are and to our dreams. And also for those who might have trouble holding their vibrational frequency um, as we go into 2019, to be the highest of energetic um, vibration possible, do remember that if anything ever comes across your radar screen, if someone or something should appear in your reality, it's because you co-created it for it to be there in some way, shape, or form for the, the betterment 
of who you are for the betterment of your journey and for the greatest growth of your soul. Um, if you don't believe this, uh, then your vibrational frequency will dip down and you will be held at the mercy of whatever appears in your reality. Now, secondly, the Posse of Angels is reminding us to always, always, always come from a place of love, tempered with the spiritual wisdom that is within all of us by seeing the beauty in everyone, and they do mean everyone. We choose to see them for the divine beings that they are underneath their choices. Now do remember that choices often come from a hurt, saddened, angry, and insecure child within that is just negatively reacting to the world. Now regardless of what a person does, we can still choose happiness over resentment by sending them energies of things like healing, blessings of unconditional love and forgiveness to bring back their hurt into the alignment with the light of God. Now, as I've stated many times on this program, if we rise above our humanness and we see the person from an angel's perspective, then there is more of a chance that we will not take anything personally and we'll be able to see them through the eyes of God. Now, the next point that the Posse of Angels is saying is that the clean slate of the new year is giving us an opportunity to create a whole new reality by changing the old default programming that might be coming from sadness, hurt, bitterness, resentment, regret, defensiveness, criticism, judgment, the list goes on. And by replacing that consciously with what am I going to do um, because a person said that, I will see them through the eyes of love. I will act through the eyes of an angel. I will feel through the feelings of God, all of these things, um, and replacing them with love and faith and hope, tolerance, patience, and forgiveness. Well, then we can then project our thoughts onto a higher outcome and the highest outcome possible. By doing so, we actively align with our divine, eternal natures, and we affirm our intentions of always coming from our divine, eternal natures. We always will be coming from a place of love with absolutely no conditions and no restrictions on it. Now, do remember that no restrictions and no conditions within us means that there will be no restrictions and conditions in our reality. We will be able to access and receive unlimited, unbounded, endless possibilities for the fulfillment for our dreams and our wishes. Now they're saying that it's good to set goals and perhaps have resolutions, but once your intentions are set, it is paramount to allow yourself to be guided by the winds of heaven. It's so important to remember that we as spirits signed on for our human adventure and we are always in a co-creative dance with God and the angels. And in order to experience the optimum magic, miracles and synchronicities and unbelievable limitless possibilities we must then let go of the how and when as to the fulfillment of our intentions. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us by saying, please, please, if you can do this in 2019, don't worry and stress and try to figure out how 2019 is going to go. And so don't try to figure things out and overanalyze the year ahead. For when the universe sends those unplanned synchronistic winds to change the direction of your sails, 
it's showing a different course that will easily present magic and miracles for the fulfillment of your goals, no matter how diligently you've planned and scheduled your life. You know, so many of us, we plan things, we have our expectations, and then we have our attachment to those expectations. And then when God and the angels show up and they show us signs on perhaps a different avenue to take, a different way to think, a, a different way to go, we then think that we're being deviated from our agenda when God and the angels are just showing us the way to our very next miracle. A very happy new year will be increased by those who are 100% authentic and truthful. Being true to who you are actually invites more truth into your life. By being your impeccable self, you allow and choose happiness without it being dependent on anything else. You know, so many people say, I will be happy when I have so much in my bank account. I will be happy when I have a love in my life. I will be happy when I get a new car, new pair of shoes, when I get a new home, when I fill in your own blanks. But happiness is not dependent upon that. Happiness is a choice. By allowing yourself to be brave and courageous to break through any restrictions and conditions as to whether you will experience happiness, then happiness becomes your closest ally and aids you in creating pathways for more joy to find you. And when I went to my animal spirit cards for further assistance and to give us more insights, two animal cards jumped, I mean, they literally leapt out of the deck, not one, to give us added messages. The first one that came out was Falcon. He swiftly came in and he's asking each and every one of us to stand firmly in the seat of our power. Falcon energy belongs to those who impassion the world with their fiery enthusiasm. This noble bird is asking us, what are we passionate about? And are we acting upon that passion to bring it forth? The words energy, foresight, ambition, willpower, fortitude, transformation, and vision, well, these all describe how we can start to reinvent ourselves in 2019 and make new fresh goals and plans to fulfill our dreams. In fact, start planning, visualizing, imagining, and thinking ahead as when Falcon appears, there is often opportunity coming in right on the horizon. The Falcon is an absolutely wonderful sign for us to see our lives from a higher vision and also see lives from our divine eternal nature so that we can easily access our higher wisdom for giving us clarity and direction and the ability to journey through life with ease and with grace. Just like the beautiful radiant sun card in tarot, the falcon is a solar emblem and it definitely denotes success victory, and triumph. So with this amazing animal, animal symbol, he's asking us to commit to an endeavor or recommit and or areas of our lives in which we wish to see success and to go wholeheartedly towards it. Because the only thing that is stopping you from realizing your dreams, your wishes, your desires, and your intentions is you. Now let's go to the second card. Thank you, Falcon, for jumping out. The second animal card for today, which is really quite unusual, two jumped out, which is the camel. I don't think we've had the camel all year. The camel is, uh, now that Falcon came in first to get us all fired up to pursue our dreams, camel tells us to go the distance 
and it tells us that we have all the resources that we will ever need to go on the journey of our life. Camel is one of the most powerful symbols of endurance, strength, will, and persistence. It's also considered a symbol of sacrifices we all need to make at certain points of our life in order to advance. Camel also represents incredible patience and steadiness. Mr. Camel's reminding us that through our steadfast focus and our intention to the journey along the path to our dreams, we will achieve whatever we set out to achieve. Camels also represent hope. They roam through desert valleys for days and days with no food and no water, and they never, ever, ever give up. They keep hope and they keep going that they will find a stream, a river, or an oasis. Symbolically, camels suggest there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So we must be tenacious, face challenges on our life path with optimism, positivity, and belief in ourselves and our own skills and capabilities. You know, if we are presented with something, it means that God has all and the angels have already planted in our soul all the wherewithal to be able to access what we need to to go on that journey. Camels also stand for modesty, reminding us we do not need much in order to be happy and also successful. Those are relative concepts, but the fact is we all must start with something small in order to achieve greatness. So thank you so much, Mr. Camel, for coming in and giving us those additional messages. You have been listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff, on Angel Healing House Radio. When we come back, we'll be taking some of your calls for those free angel readings. We will see you after the break. Take your own journey with the angels with Claire Candy Huff's Heaven Sent Guided Angel Meditation CD. Letting go of concerns and living in the now. This beautiful CD walks listeners through practical exercises to help free them from the burdens, worries, and concerns of daily life. Walking a quarter of the way across the bridge, you see a bright emerald green light and sense a loving presence. This is Archangel Raphael's green healing energies, nourishing and revitalizing you. Take a moment now to bathe in this green healing light. Giving you much more than just relaxation and stress release, this wonderfully narrated CD provides vivid visualization, soothing and inspiring music, and an angel's choir that will bring you peace, clarity and a newfound awareness. Visit angelhealinghouse.com today. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Angel Healing House Radio with me, Claire Candy Hoff. And today we were speaking about um, having an absolutely joyous holiday season and choosing to have a happy new year. Choosing to have a happy new year is a conscious decision. It's not just something you say and then the next moment you pick a uh, something to say or uh, a thought or something in your a feeling in your heart or doing an action that creates dissonance and unhappiness so in every single second of every single moment you can choose what 
God would choose. You can choose what the angels would choose. I have a very dear friend that says, uh, every time she has to choose, she says, I choose what love would say or what love would do or what love would feel. So these are all conscious decisions that we can make. Let's go to our callers. Our first caller is Annette. Annette, you're on the line with Angel Healing House Radio. How are you today? Hi, happy holidays. Happy. I'm just fantastic. Oh, isn't that wonderful? How are you? Here? I'm very well. I am like a kid at the at this uh, season um, of of holidays. I just love, I love the songs. I love the, uh, the decorations. Um, and I love giving. Um, I give throughout the year, but, uh, I just seem to, uh, to love to give even more at this, this special time. Um, my father, my very dear friend and wonderful father passed away two and a half years ago. And he, he used to say to me, and actually he's saying to me now, because I can hear him in my, in my heart. <laughs> he's, he's saying, I still, I still say what you're going to say. But um, he said, if you give, if you give, if you decide to give, give with all your heart, because the gift is in, a, in the giving. Giving is a gift mm -hmm. that you give to yourself. Mm -hmm which I always love, um, yes. and, I, and I follow to this day. Giving is a gift that we give to ourselves. I love that because I end up feeling just like almost even better than the recipient, you know? <laughs> I know. After, I get... after giving. Yeah, I just, I just light on fire. And it's funny because my, my dad's up there with your dad, too. <laughs> Maybe they're chumming yeah. around now yeah. that we're speaking with each other. Yeah, and we're just two two girlfriends in the candy store. We're just two <laughs> two girls in the candy store. And yeah. I, well, I got to tell you, your gift is you being on the air because once in a, you know, you just hit it out of the ballpark with me. How do you read my mind? It's just amazing, Candy. Um, it, you know, the falcon. I have I. There are hawks, right? A falcon yes. is a hawk. Yes. There, I have I have hawks flying all around my property all the time isn't that amazing and you're just your your messages are just god-given so um happy holidays to you and all the listeners isn't that beautiful thank you so much and hawk is also falcon or hawk is also a wonderful um uh, animal symbol of messages coming in um and often mm -hmm. swiftly now um in a previous um radio program, I spoke about how we are getting out of all of the retrogrades. Mars last summer, then Neptune, then Venus, then Mercury ended on December 6th and then has time to get out of its shadow. Suddenly we'll be in a time of no, no new retrogrades and we'll be able to move forward. And many of us are going to have those swift messages coming in of how we can move forward in the areas of our wow. lives which we thought we were being held back or we were stagnant, but uh, it actually was a wonderful, it was very challenging for many, but it was a wonderful time mm -hmm. for us to, to go inward and to really revise and re-edit and review our life to see if there was anything still left, any skeletons still left in any closets that we didn't want to take into 2019. Yeah, like the cobwebs are kind of, you know, dusted out and such. And I got to tell you, as you said that, the lights brightened in my, where I'm at. They Yay! just, yeah, illuminated. Yeah, yeah, it's just, oh my gosh, that's that's just amazing. Well, um, happy holidays to you. Thank and, you so uh, much. You know, Did you, you... Go on. Oh, just. You know, you previously talked about, you know, the energy of a wish, too. And um, I called a couple months ago um, letting you know how I'm just, I'm just this, um, I'm just updating you on the fact that, you know, I'm just kind of this funny closeted metaphysical soccer mom who receives these hearts out of nowhere. So I started yeah. photographing them and I 
And I cried a little bit. And, you know, I'm not going to cry today. <laughs> I promise I won't <laughs> cry. And <laughs> I, um, it's just the manifestations and the synchronicities and how can I serve and co-creating and everything's just coming together and I'm getting the messages to keep going. And your, and your camel, animal sign two today just wraps right in the whole, the whole story, the whole package of what's going on with me. And I just want to tell everybody out there, when you get messages and signs, keep going. Don't stop. You know, you might have a little roadblock, but just keep going. Um, Never in my life have I received the synchronistic number sequence of like one, two, three, four, you know, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not young and I've never noticed them before, but uh, these past few months, these past four months, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, three, four, five. And I'm just so thankful for, for you, for it, it, this radio show and um, helping me to shepherd the answers to my questions that are that are coming at me through all these messages and these synchronicities and the the ascension of of me so i can help share something with the world someday and i'm not going to say hopefully it's like i i do want to get my my project off the ground and it's amazing after i spoke with you i took a long walk in the forest and i and that i i came across this feather that just totally jumped out at me hmm. And uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, under this bush, just a random, you wouldn't even know how it got there. And I was just, wow. And then I came back inside and checked my emails. And, oh, there's, here's how to, how to write and publish a book, <laughs> an online course. Yeah. And so guess, guess who's taking the online course? I am. And I'm plugging my way through. And it's, it's just so fun, and um, someday I'm going to share this with everybody because I just want to bring a little happy into the world through these through this wonderfully God-given thing that's happening to me because I'm not creating these hearts. They're popping out at me yeah, um, out of nowhere, and they stop me in my tracks, and I give thanks. And Yeah, and the universe is sending them to you for a reason, um, and you are... Right. You're, you're conscious and you're aware and enlightened enough to know that it is more than a mere coincidence. Um, and every yeah. time, every time we action that which excites us on the other side of that is always miracles is always totally because yeah yeah it's leading us to our connection uh, our opportunity you know when you when you stepped on board and said i'm going to make this into a book what email pops in yeah. uh, you know a course on on, on self-publishing you know these things are not random they're not yeah. happen chance and what actually that's a that's a good um, segue uh, Annette because um, mm -hmm. what's going to happen as a result of us moving forward after Mercury uh, gets out of retrograde is that our rate of manifestation is going to get even quicker um, and uh, because we have cleared so much during that the, as a individually and also as a conscious collective we cleared so much energy uh backlogged energy or stuck energy that our rate of manifestation will um will increase so r i would like everyone to imagine and visualize and talk about and get excited about where they see themselves in 2019 um, and because it's going to happen. So be careful what mm -hmm. you wish for. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Right. Very excited. I am such a big, totally, total champion of that because cause it really, really will. Yeah. It really, really will. Cause I feel different when they, when they, when they find me, I don't find them. They find me and it's, pure love it's yeah. out of love and it's so funny because our heart and um you are so right yeah yeah so let me go to the cards and see what comes okay. out for you i'll do a general read for you thank you so much for sharing that beautiful yeah. story and uh and as you progress in 2019 with this beautiful dream of yours to take these photographs 
uh, hearts mm -hmm. and present them in just a beautiful book. Please, I'd like you to, to call up and tell us about this so people will know where to find it. Okay. So the first card that's coming out for you is the Fool card. And the Fool card is the card of new beginnings. Now, it's, there, are, there are several tarot cards in the deck that are about starting over and new beginnings. But the Fool card is one of my favorite ones because this is the card of being naive, like a child would get so excited about a new yep. beginning. This, this, uh, yep. the fool card is anything but a fool. He's not a fool, but he, he leads with his divine nature because he knows that God is leading him. And in this picture, he has, he's on his horse. Horses are about personal power in the tarot. So he takes his personal power and his choice um, with his with his dog and his sack on his back and off he goes and he's being led by the divine and he's following the signs rather than his own agenda and his own expectations he knows yeah. co-creation his journey is in co-creation with God and the angels and so he is mm -hmm. just allowing himself to be led so it's that's what it's saying to you you are that zero card in the tarot and you are allowing the child inside of you to be led by God. So that's such a beautiful sign. The next card that comes out for you is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the card of joy, of harmony, of balance, of this, and you can hear it in your voice, in your energies. You're mm -hmm. just overwhelming, over, overwhelming with this emotion. And it makes you feel like crying because of that connectivity mm -hmm. and knowing that you're being divinely led in every single moment. And so that ace is a new beginning. Um, I said that there were many cards in the tarot of new beginnings. The aces are always new beginnings. So the fool is a card of new beginnings. The ace is also a card of new beginnings. So 2019 is going to be quite a momentous year for you. And the next card that is coming out is the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is your ships coming in. So the more we can put our passion and our enthusiasm into something and that wave goes out, the more we give, 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 then the more will come yeah. back to us. And that's what you'll be experiencing in 2019. So my dear, I hope that's been helpful for mm -hmm. you. Thank you, my dear, dear, dear. Happy holidays to you and everyone else. Thank and, you so uh, much. Thank looking you so forward much. to just, yes. Okay. Take have a care. wonderful, wonderful holiday. Thank you so much, Annette. God bless you and have just a beautiful, beautiful holiday season. I will speak to you soon. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm, Bye. Thank you, Annette. And, and the joy that she's having in allowing herself to be led by spirit. Uh, to create this beautiful book of photographed hearts that she keeps finding all over the place and are presenting to her is just, um, it's, it, it's just intoxicating, that kind of happiness and that kind of energy. Let's go to our next caller. We have Wendy in Washington. Wendy, you're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff. How are you today? I'm doing wonderfully, Candy. How about you? I'm very, very well. Thank you so much. And so what's what's happening in your world? Um, I am very happy in my own business and writing and working with clients. Uh, the time has not been right for um, the cash flow to be presenting, but I'm very optimistic that that will be coming soon. I think mm -hmm. it's just a matter of that, that divine right timing. Right. And my question along that vein is I'm feeling drawn to go to a writer's retreat um, this coming July um, that's going to be in Edinburgh um, because I'm really feeling the call to go to Glastonbury. So I'd love um, any insight from my angels on that topic. Is that something I should consider going to? Oh, absolutely. Um, while I'm shuffling the cards, the posse of angels are saying, you're going home 
do you feel like you're going home? They said that you've had a past life, if not a few past lives in Scotland. Um, they're saying uh, you will, when you get there, you will get this overwhelming feeling of deja vu. Like I've been here before or I've, the, the traditions or the, the, the dress, mm -hmm. the, the culture, all of those things um, will, will start coming back to you. I don't know if you realize this, that you have had past lives there. I did not know that. I'm not surprised because I knew I had a lot of um, a lot of past lives in England, mm -hmm. and I did go briefly to Edinburgh as a child. Um, okay. So I'm I'm not surprised. Okay. Yeah, and they're saying so. You're going home, and Glastonbury. They're saying yes, of course. Uh, this is going to open up um, different different avenues for you to pursue. It's going to awaken different ideas and, um, and different projects and things like this. It's going to get you very, very excited. So definitely, definitely, it, it is a time Wonderful. for you. To, yes, I'm getting Wonderful. very, very excited for you. <laughs> um, I wonder. Um, That's great. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what clan you, uh, you, you belong to. That might be. Great that question. Might be. That, that, that'll be, that would be fun to find out. Absolutely. That might be a good uh, a good thing to uh, to delve into, and and they're saying yes. that again you will be intuitively led. Um, so those two questions are a definite yes. Um, when I uh, when I pulled the cards for you, um, the first card that came out is the card of the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card of suddenly all of these choices are shown to you, um, uh, your writing, um, you might even uh, um, start to think about um, moving, about um, um, moving, uh, you know, away, um, could be even moving overseas, but these things are going to awaken something in you where you're going to suddenly feel like you have more choices. Um, and uh, and you're gonna it, it's gonna be a little bit overwhelming because for so long there hasn't seemed to be anything happening, and we we just you know felt like we were stagnant or the projects or the writing or the things that we did they really didn't go anywhere. But now they're telling us that uh, and they're telling you specifically that these things will appear. Um, they're on, on a on a unconscious level, I guess they're um, uh, expected, but the way that they come in is going to be unexpected, and um, and just open yourself to receive. It's a very very exciting time for you. Uh, the next one, the next card is the world card. You definitely have come to a completion. That's what they're saying, and with every completion there is a new beginning. And they're saying that, uh, that 2019 is gonna be a very, very new, uh, a new chapter, a new slate for you. Um, they want you to uh, take your focus off of what has not occurred or what has not happened. And they want you to visualize and imagine and, and really put your focus on what you want 2019 to look like, uh, your house, uh, your relationships, um, your writing, you know, all of these things. Where do you want it to go? Who do you want to connect with? Because uh, it's a brand new slate and you get to create this. And the next one, I, this is probably my favorite card in the deck. And this one is the Eight of Pentacles. And this is being promoted and supported for your gifts and your abilities. So, it's all bodes well, Wendy, and I'm very excited. I hope that's been helpful for you. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, and thank you to the angels. That's just phenomenal. Very you're, appreciated. You're very welcome. Happy holidays to you. Take care. You too. Happy holidays, Candy. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Let's go to our third caller. We have Beth on the line from California. Beth? 
You're on the line with Claire Candy Huff. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm really, really well. What's happening in your world? Oh, just I love this time of year because everybody seems to be more joyful than normal. And so it's I love feeling the energy flow and the music and everything else and just all the holiday spirit. So I'm just in a really great space about that. And I'm looking forward to 2019 and all the things that are look like they're happening. I just want to know if there's a message as to, you know, for me to be guided, you know, some kind of like foundational message of, you know, okay. what to, what the, what the year is going to bring. Okay. Uh, they're, they're pointing to writing. They're pointing to writing and they're saying that, um, uh, to take your expectations and attachments off of, uh, trying to figure out, not, not trying to figure out, but how things, um, must play out as to getting your, uh, your writing out into the right hands. The posse of angels are saying, Beth, we have you covered. We've had you covered for a very, very, very long time. And when you thought nothing was happening, we were putting together connections, opportunities, people, situations, the most convoluted things that you can possibly ever imagine, um, even more so than what, what you know about now. And those are going to pop up like little mushrooms in, uh, in 2019. So they're saying, sometimes you can be your own worst enemy, and just get out of your way and take take this time, take this time to imagine and visualize and um, what you want to experience because our rate of manifestation is going to increase rapidly when we get out of Mercury retrograde. No planets are in retrograde. We are in free fall when it comes to um, our rate of manifestation enormously. So it's going to increase. So make sure you're very careful about what you wish to happen in 2019. Your first card coming out for you is partnerships. Uh, partnerships of all kinds and specifically in your career, in your writing. They're showing me uh, a film. They're showing me um, uh, not only what you've worked on, but they're showing me opportunities for more writing to happen because you are so creative and you have, an, have a natural proclivity towards writing and there'll be more um, opportunities for partnerships to come in. The next card that's coming in for you is the opportunities card. And so I just said that more opportunities coming in. Um, don't try to figure it out but just let it go and just say thank you for the amazing, miraculous opportunities that are coming into me. And the next card is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is a card of diligence. It's the card of hard work, but not hard work, difficult work. We are going, where they're saying we as a collective are going to be doing so much more uh, and doing what we absolutely love doing. And it won't seem like hard work, although it will take effort. And they're saying it will bring us um, success. It'll bring us financial security. It'll bring us uh, financial remuneration. So all of these things bode Yay. so well for you in 2019. Just don't try to figure it out. I hope that's been helpful. Oh, it's been beautiful. Thank you so much. And the cards, the animal cards you pulled were pretty, pretty amazing also. So thank you very, very much and happy holidays to you and a very joyous, happy, healthy, prosperous and financially abundant new year. Thank you, sweetheart, to you too and your loved ones and sending you all kinds of hugs. Take care and God bless you, Beth. You too. You too, Angel. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. And that just about wraps our show up for today. Thank you to all my callers. Thank you so much to all of my listeners. And have yourself an absolutely joyous Christmas. If you are not celebrating, have an, an amazing, joyous time of the year anyway. And remember to go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. Love. And as always, angel blessings. And I look so forward to speaking with you again in the new year. Take care, everyone. Bye. 